Now we want to find the limit of a function as x goes to infinity. And the function is given like, given as 1 plus 14x over 2x plus cubic root of x squared. So in this case, we can say that it is a undeterminate form like infinity, like infinity. So how to how to work with this limit? In fact, you have find the largest the largest term in your fraction, in numerator and denominator. And in fact, you have to find x to the greatest power. You see, in this case, in the numerator, you have x to the first power. In the denominator, x to the first power and x to the power 2 over 3. Agree? Yes, I agree. So, the largest the greatest power, the greatest power is one. So we 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 divide we divide the numerator and denominator yeah by x. So in the in the numerator you have fourteen plus over x. And in the denominator, you have 2 plus 1 over cubic root of x. So here, everything is clear because if x goes to infinity, 1 over x goes to 0. And 1 over this root of x, this term goes to 0 also. So, you have in the numerator 14 and in the denominator 2, so the answer is 7. I hope it's clear. Like for the sequences. Same thing. Agree? Yes, it's understandable. So, the second Example, I think, Valentina, it was your question. Uh, we proceed as for your question for this home task. Yeah. I think exactly, exactly as here, except uh, the thing that uh, in your exercise it was N, here you have X. Uh, so we have a function which is square root of x4 plus 2x square minus 1 and minus the second root x4 minus 2x square minus 1. You see, in this case, we usually say that it is the indeterminate form like my infinity minus infinity. So we want to find the limit of this function as x goes to infinity. You see, if you take any real point, not infinity, there is no problem to find this limit. But as for infinity, we have some, we have a problem. So we want to simplify our expression, our expression using using this well-known formula that a plus b times a minus b is a square minus b square. So we multiply and divide our function by the square of x4 plus 2x square minus 1 plus, not minus, but plus. In order to have in the 
in the numerator in order to use in the numerator this formula a square minus b square is a minus b times a plus b what do we have we have the following things we have the in the <coughs> in the numerator in fact we have four multiplied by x squared and in the denominator in the denominator we have the sum we have a sum of two square roots you see so the main rule is to find is to find x with the greatest power in this case you see in the numerator it will be x square agree x square eric is clear you think it's clear yes yes it's clear in the, uh, so in the in the denominator you see x to the power of 4 is the largest term here okay because x to the power of 4 or x sufficiently large will be greater than 1 and will be greater than 2x squared but also you see square root of x to the power 4 is x square so in the numerator and in the denominator the largest term is x square and we divide the numerator and denominator by x square so i write this as a formula to 2.4 so in the in the numerator it will be four, and in the denominator I will read only the first square root. The second one will be the same. So I divide each term under the square root by x four. So it will be for the first square root. It will be 1 plus 2x to the power minus 2 minus x to the, to the power minus 4. You see, x to the power minus 2, for example, is 1 over x squared. This guy goes to 0 as x goes to infinity. Agree? Yeah, I agree. Agree. Same thing. Yes, uh, same thing for 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 the second square root. So, you see, if I want now to find the limit, find the limit of my initial function, then I can say from this formula two point four that it will be four over two because the limit of the denominator will be two agree yes i agree very good yes it so so the the <clears throat> our answer is two our limit now uh an interesting as for me an interesting exercise and I think Valentina, it was also your question, but uh, another another whole task we will discuss next time because you have some problems with the geometry. Okay. But yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you see, you see. In this exercise, we will use uh, another trick. 
you have a function, you see f, which is x to the power m minus 1 over x to the power n minus 1, where n and m are natural numbers. You see, mm, here, as usually, we have an indeterminate or determinate form like 0 over 0, because we are looking for the limit as x goes to 1. So, you see, in this case, in this case, for example, if you take m, for example, m equals 3 and n equals 2, you know that x cubed minus 1 is x minus 1 multiplied by x squared plus x plus 1. And x square, if n is 2, x square minus 1 will be x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 1. In this case, we can reduce, we can reduce the term x minus 1 without problems, and we can find then the limit. But if we do not know the general formula for for any for any uh, nature of m and n, then we can use another trick. We can use another trick. So we change we change the variable. In this in this limit as as x goes to one, we have that. We have a function which depends on x. Now let us let us set x equals one plus t. In this case, you see if x goes to one, then t goes to zero. Is it clear? Yeah, it's clear. Clear. No problems. But so, if x tends to infinity. No, x tends to infinity, it's another thing that here you have no problem. Because it depends of, <clears throat> on n and m. You see, Valentina? It depends mm -hmm. on n and m. If m is greater than n, then it will be infinity. If n uh, if n is greater than m, it will be zero. Here you have no indeterminate form. Yeah, but in my exercise is x. No, 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 no. You see, you see, Valentina, your exercise was exactly like the difference of two square roots, it, it seems to me. Okay. So we, we 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 will we will we will see next time. You have no time for the moment. So I I will speak rather. So we will work fastly. Now, if I have this change of variables, then I will have some function f tilde f tilde of t, which is given by the formula 2.5. Agree? So, we replace x by 1 plus t. So, in the numerator, we have 1 plus t to the power m minus 1. And in the denominator, we have 1 plus t to the power n minus 1. Agree? Yes, I agree. Agree. So, you see, now, now, uh, 
we, 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 we have that n and m are natural numbers. So, in this case, we can, we can make use of the binomial theorem. So, by this binomial theorem, you have that 1 plus e to the power k is the sum given by 2.6. You can find the formulation of this theorem. Now, we will finish in five minutes, but you can find the formulation of this theorem, and you will have that 1 plus e to the power k, k is a natural number, is 1 plus kt plus so on plus t to the power k. You have to believe me if you do not remember this theorem. Then, 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 then. Our function, our function, f tilde 1 plus t to the power m minus 1 over 1 plus t to the power n minus 1 will be mt plus something t square plus so on plus t to the power m. You see, over nt plus so on plus t to the power n. Agree? Yes, I agree. So, so for the moment, you see, there is no one minus one minus one is zero. So no one, no, we have no constant in the numerator and in the denominator. So in this case, it is also undeterminate form like zero over zero because the numerator of our tends to zero as t as t goes to zero and the denominator also also goes to zero as t goes to zero but you see if i divide if i divide my numerator and my denominator by t, you see, I will have the first term, the first term will be m, the second one will be a constant multiplied by t plus so on plus t to the power m minus 1. And in the denominator, we have exactly the same thing we have n plus a constant multiplied by t plus so on plus t to the power n minus one so as t goes to zero we have that our limit our limit here you have a misprint here we have to write that t goes to zero not x goes so as t goes to zero, it will be exactly m over n. Agree? Yes, I agree. So I think you have to prepare your examination. It will be enough for today. Thank you very much. See you next Friday. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao, ciao.